In this video, I will teach you how to add and edit multiple materials for one object in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to use a monkey mesh. So press X to delete, and then Shift A to add, and let's add a monkey. And then you can press Control 4 for four subdivisions, and apply the modifier. And then next, we can add a material, then drag the top right corner of the window so that we get another one, and then go into the shader editor. And this is where we're going to add the textures. So press N to hide the right sidebar, select the principal shader, and then go to the web browser and download some free textures. The link is in the description. And then once it's done downloading, you can unzip the file and then select the principal shader and press Control Shift T. And then when we select the textures, which in this case is the wood table textures, and select all of them, it's automatically going to set up all of the nodes, which is very useful. Okay, and then next, we can go into rendered view and we need some lighting. So let's select the light, turn it into a sun. And I'm going to set the strength to five for now. And then press R twice to rotate freely. And then next we can add a second material with a new texture. So uh, let's go into wireframe view, select the monkey and then add a new material. And then we want to press tab in the viewport and then B to uh, box select. And now we can select where we want the new texture to be assigned to. Okay. And then click assign. And then when we go into rendered view, you can see that the new material is now assigned to the other part of the monkey. So uh, let's add a texture to this part as well. So uh, Control Shift T. And then I'm going to add another texture. So I'm going to select all of them and all of the nodes will be set up automatically once again. And as you can see, we now have two textures on the same object. And then we can go into the UV editor to edit the textures on the object. So for example, you can press A to select all, and then G to grab to move the texture, and then S to scale to change the scale of the texture. And then you can press Control I to select the unselected vertices, which means the other texture, at least in this case. And then we can change how we want the texture to be projected to the object. Okay, and then you can also press Alt A to deselect everything and then select a specific part and then press R to rotate, for example, so that you can align it with the rest of the texture. 